So I'd like to do a quick video on how to use post-processing uh, for 3D images. So this is a mitral case. We've hidden the patient health information up here. Uh, this is a 3D zoom of the mitral valve. And, you know, using the cursor button down here, we can rotate between 3D, rotate, and cine. And we can look at it from the ventricular side if we want. We can look at it from the atrial side. But to try to freeze this and get a mitral valve area here, uh, we're going to underrepresent the true area of the mitral valve. And so in order to get a true valve area, we're gonna go into something called 3DQ. So under the review tab, you hit the 3DQ button and it brings up this multi-planar reformatting. So I'll, I'll show the screen in a separate view, uh, the lower screen, so that you guys can see which buttons that we're actually pushing, okay? Now, the, this area over here in the bottom left corner, there's arrows that can advance the cardiac cycle. So we wanna open up the mitral valve. Now these lines represent the different boxes. So the green line represents the green box in the upper left-hand corner, and the blue line represents the blue box down here, okay? So we can adjust these lines to make sure that we're right at where the mitral valve is opening. If you grab in the center, you can move both lines at once, okay? If you grab here on the blue line, we're using your left cursor, you can move it up and down. If you grab at the edge, you can actually rotate the plane to make sure that we're right where the mitral valve is opening, okay? Now, remember, this is a saddle-shaped structure, so it might be perfect in this view, but it might look too high in this other view here. So by adjusting the cardiac cycle, we can open or close valves. Uh, we can move these lines and adjust them how we want to so that we make sure that we're right at the valve opening. Now, in order to choose this left lower box, there's a series of icons on the left side here. We wanna choose this one, which is making this box active. So it's got the highlight here. So if we click on this, this gives us a zoomed in view of the mitral valve, okay? This is a little bit uh, kind of convoluted, but if you go to controls, eye slice, NPR smooth, we can go down to, and this crisps up the images and causes some better edge definition. I'll show you what it looks like with the NPR smooth high, and then we can go down to an NPR smooth one, and it crisps, crisps up the images. If we go back to the task up here, under basic measurements, under area, and I'm left clicking on each of these, we can actually go through and measure the mitral valve area. I'm gonna exclude a little bit of that calcium there. And then if you right click, it shows us that our area three, area three here, our mitral valve area is 5.4. So this valve is amenable to a mitral clip as it's greater than four, okay? So uh, and then those are rough guidelines. Obviously we've clipped valves that are less than that. So uh, in review, we used a 3D image. Uh, we went under 3DQ. Under 3DQ, you have this arrangement here. We move the lines to where we're in the center of the valve. And then we chose this one by clicking this button here. And then we uh, did two dimensional measurements based on this basic measurements bar here. So if I wanted to do a distance, I could you know, measure the distance from here to here, and then it would give us a distance at the top. So I hope this was useful. Um, our fellows uh, seem to get a lot out of uh, using 3D uh, with us, and uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe.